feed bags from copper tubing. Raising them together. Adding the third feed bag. Pulling it down in front just a little bit for perspective. Making some buckets and cans again out of copper tubing. Annealing the tubing. Now that the tubing is annealed, flaring the tubing out to give it form. For the shovel and pitchfork, for the shovel, just simple sheet metal forming. And for the pitchfork, some 1 16th inch RG45. For the pump and the water trough, using RG45 and a piece of 1 quarter inch mild steel, forming the pump. And then for the water trough, using sheet metal, using the vise as a brake to form the sheet metal. And again, for the base, using RG45 by 1 8 inch. Building a corn sheller, using RG45, some sheet metal, and a couple of scrap pieces of copper. Also using some of the techniques that were in the small sculptures that sell video. To make the small implements as realistic as possible, I sometimes refer to this reproduction Sears catalog from 1907. Adding some very simple birds made out of scrap pieces of copper. This wheelbarrow is pretty much like the one in the reproduction Sears catalog. And here this is just simply using some sheet metal, gas welding it together, and then some RG45 and doing some forming with the torch and the needle nose. So the legs are on there and I went ahead and formed the handles here. I hammered these out. Some small lanterns using short pieces of copper tubing, some small washers, and for the handle, 1 16th inch RG45 formed to fit. A coil of rope, and this is very simple. Just twisting two pieces of copper wire together and then wrapping it around a diameter. In this case, a piece of three quarter inch copper tubing. 